This is the Krillcast. I am Chris. And I'm Will. And uh, this is 2006. Yes, it is. Some really great games came out in 2006, but if you don't like the ones we picked, comment down below and tell What's us... What's wrong with you? <laughs> ...what games were the best games from 2006. And 2007 is going to be pretty easy to predict, I'm pretty sure, for Will. You can mm -hmm. all guess what that game's going to be, but we're going to do 2006. Will, what's your game from 2006? Years of War. I'm going to go with another Xbox ex exclusive. So this one was... I don't know. It was great. It was gory. I love the chainsaw answer. I like chainsawing things. Ah. Yeah, it was. It's definitely like really one of the only third-person shooters that I enjoy, and it's it's a little bit different because it's over the person. It's a cover-based shooter, which, again, I don't really like that genre, but I do like this game. Um, and it was different. It was quote unquote gritty. <laughs> um, <laughs> And, I don't know, it was cool. Like, I thought I was so badass ch chainsawing things, and it's still satisfying to this day. Like, I have another Gear of the War game on this list specifically because I still enjoy picking up the Lancer and chainsawing things. Like, I would love for Halo to have just one gun. It could just be, like, a secret one that you, hi like, hide in a level. But I love the chainsaw grunt or something. <laughs> it's so satisfying. And the funny thing is about this, so my wife does not particularly care to play Halo games, but she enjoys playing Gears of War games because, again, she gets, like, this weird satisfaction <laughs> of using the chainsaw gun. <laughs> yeah, just rubbing it up and actually, like, timing it because, like, uh, you know, you get into this, like, melee fight. Oh, it's great. It's good stuff. I went out of focus hardcore there. Hold on, let's fix it. There we go. Okay. My favorite game from 2006, although I do like Gears of War, my brother and I played through the entire campaign for the first game, and mm -hmm. most of the second one, if not the... The second one's the one that had the waves, right? That that hive thing or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, horde mode. Horde mode, horde mode. Yeah, I remember that. That was really fun. I liked how it was kind of like bug-based. But um, my favorite game from 2006, by far... And this is the opening cutscene that I'm going to skip because it's kind of creepy. Uh, Dead Rising. Frank West. I've covered wars, you know. Um, <laughs> Frank West is like this gumpy reporter that you'd never expect to be in a zombie game. But here he is flying in on a chopper and fighting zombies in a mall a la Shaun of the Dead. Mm -hmm. um, and <laughs> it's it's just so ridiculous of a game premise. And yet there's this like giant government conspiracy. You can really de delve into this game. It's like a deeply narrative-driven game that sh really shouldn't be, but it is, which makes it even better. Mm -hmm. Because the ridiculousness, and then they got this like, more serious government conspiracy thing going on in the background that kind of makes sense if you tie all the pieces together and play through the whole game. But what's most memorable about, about this game, and, and a lot of people would probably agree, is the ridiculous achievements for this game. Like, for one, Seven Day Survivor. That's 14 straight hours of gameplay with no pausing. Sounds awful. I have yet to get it. It's the only achievement I haven't gotten on this game is the, the five and seven day survivors. There are 50 achievements. I have 48 of them. <laughs> and one of them was like, one of them was called Frank the Pimp. You have to actually, oh my gosh. You, have to, you have to escort, I think it's either five or eight female survivors. I can't remember at the same time. But in order to do that, you have to save some female survivors in one part of the game, then kill some male survivors, then find some more female survivors and kill some more male survivors, and then continue to escort to get to the total number <laughs> that you need. So like, you have to kind of play the game in the wrong way to get to the <laughs> that achievement. Yeah. And you have to actually make it back to the safe room with those female survivors. And the AI is famously terrible in this game. So doing that is like one of the most tense moments I've ever had in gaming, trying to make that work. And the only place you can save is in bathrooms, which I think is hilarious. Hmm. And then the other thing that's memorable about this game is the psychos. Like, imagine living in a post-zombie apocalyptic world, and yet there's, like, psycho people that have somehow survived and are <laughs> killing people. It's like, wait, what? This is not The Walking Dead? <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, this, is this game, Frank West... The only thing I don't like about this game, and I have to this day do not like this about this game, is the photography mode. I do not care for photography in this game. I know it's like a major focal point of his being a reporter, yeah. but they could have just had cutscenes cover the reporting part, and I would have been just fine just hacking away at zombies and progressing <laughs> the story without having to take any pictures. But you can't have a perfect game in 2006. So we have Dead Rising, and it's one of the best games. It's one of my top ten games of all time. I will replay this game every year because I love it. So, as always, 
Make sure you guys tell everybody down below what your favorite game from 2006 is. Is it Gears of War, Dead Rising, or something else? I'm Chris. And I'm Will. And we will see you on the next Girlcast. Bye, guys.